Hi guys, Vanya here again with RC Alley and today in front of me I have my Sky RC brushless motor analyzer. This is mainly used for 10 scale racing and you would hook up your two pole motor to it. Uh, I mainly use it for stock spec racing, so for 17 and a half turn motors, but I do t tune all my motors when I first get them. In the box you get uh, your three wires to hook up the motor, a sensor wire, and two plugs for the battery, a bullet, and a Tamiya. The analyzer itself comes with XT60. And then there is a little instruction manual as well. So put, putting everything together is pretty easy. All you do is plug in the wires, Not gonna use the Tamiya one, just gonna use the bullets right now. Get the sensor poured in. There we go. And you just plug in your battery. And as you can see, it powers on and you're ready to go. So here it is fully powered on and as you can see there's a wheel for you to scroll through options of what it can do and uh, some of the functions are KV measurement, RPM measurement, voltage measurement, amp measurement, motor timing, noise level. So it does quite a bit for one little vice. All right, so the first test here that we can do is the KV RPM, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, so uh, right here we have the KV, voltage of the battery, RPMs the motor was spinning, and how many amps it was pulling. So if the battery should always be uh, at about 8 volts, uh, never over a lim little under is okay when you're performing these tests. So the KV of this motor is about 3300 just under at uh, 25,500 RPMs and it's pulling 6.5 amps. Uh, just to warn you, six and a half amps is a lot. Uh, this motor currently is tuned to be doing five minute runs uh, with a fan on it. Generally, you should be somewhere between five and six amps for a 17 and a half turn motor. Moving on to the motor timing, uh, this is the end bell adjustment timing. This is what you adjust uh, to change the power basically of the motor, how many amp it pull, amps it pulls. And I'm just gonna perform this test and uh, show you. You don't have to spin the wheel on this one, you just push it and start. And it starts. Here we have the motor timing, so it uh, shows average of 51, and as we can s there's the average again, it'll cycle through. So A, B, and C, port A, B, and C, where you plug in the motor, and it's 47, 54, 53. So B and C are pretty close together, A not so much, that means uh, the soldering at the end bell of the motor was probably not the best. For some of you that don't know, this is the end bell timing adjustment that I was talking about. So you undo these little screws just a tiny bit and this whole top plate slides around. And as you can see there's numbers 60, 40, 20 and 0 and on the red part here there's a little notch. So this is right around 50. So if, if you recall the timing on the analyzer was 51 degrees so this is pretty accurate. 
on some motors uh, these markings are way off and that is especially when the motor analyzer can come in handy another function is the noise level and I'm going to perform that now see how the motor does so this motor peaked at about 87 decibels uh, that's not too bad but uh, it's getting a little loud it it is old, it's probably about a year, year and a half now, a lot of use. So that's, that's normal wear and tear. And the last thing is pull of motor. If you do that, it lets, oops, there we go. It just lets you, lets you select how many poles your motor has. It goes all the way up to 36. Put it back on two because that is what I use it for. All right, and that's it. Uh, that's basic functions of the Sky RC motor analyzer. So, would I recommend a uh, Sky RC motor analyzer for an average cl club racer? Absolutely, yes. Ab especially if you're running in one of the stock classes, so 17.5 two-wheel drive or 13.5 four-wheel drive, uh, you want to get the most out of your motor. So basically for race days, I crank it up a little bit, you know, and then it'll get hotter, but as I do five minute runs, it's okay. And then for practice days where I might be killing a whole battery at once, uh, I turn it down a little bit and it does not overheat for the duration of the battery. All right, guys, hopefully I've helped you figure out what a motor analyzer does and if you need one for yourself. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, click the like button, subscribe, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you stay up to date with all the videos that we're making here. This is Vanya with RC Alley, signing out.